Hey, how you all doing? Welcome to this video lead tutorial. So somebody asked me a question the other day about um, about beat leaps and can your beat leap, can you um, save or can you keep the original audio to work in conjunction with the music that you're putting on? Well, no, you can't, but there is a way that you can do this and you would need to do it using video leap. So, so for the purpose of this video, I've just imported a video that I've exported from beat leap and into video leap. So now if I play there might be a time that you really want or what would set this video off nicely is some sort of background noise or some, some original audio that went with it to fit into the video. But you, as I said, you can't do it in beat leap and this is the way that you would do it in video leap. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna import some more video of the original footage that I took that I know has audio attached to it. So now we've got, so we've got this footage here and that's what I really want to use. I want to use that standby go. So all I'm going to do is as I'm, um, for this instance, I'm going to unlink, go to audio and then unlink audio and then just drag this audio above the, the original clip and to the start. So I think that this standby go would sit quite nicely near the start of this. So if we go. So now you can see that it's probably good before the music starts. You have that short period before the music starts. It really is just about messing about with where you want this audio to go. So really I want it on that, that end of the standby go just as the music kicks in so that's quite nice so all i'm going to do there is i'm going to split that audio with the audio selector i'm going to split the audio and look up the audio timeline and see where it moves so you see the waveform you can see this waveform right here so i don't want any more of that let's look at so we don't now we can get rid of that that clip altogether right so we select it delete and then i'm going to go select the clip that i want to take the audio from go to audio go to unlink so now we've got more so there's some here so let's really focus let's cut that and let's have that bit as well and let's find a place so it's awesome work keep that control so we could have it like here maybe Nice, so then that's that bit of audio. What else have we got? Let's so now I should have three. And what I can do is, if I don't think it's loud enough, I can just increase the audio. So let's try. Standby. Go. So we're saying good effort all the way. So we probably want that sort of like here where there's some sort of effort going on. And again, we can just increase the volume on that. Maybe not that much. So that's my video complete. I'm going to click export. On the export settings, I'm going to go to 1080p. I'm going to keep it on um, 30 frames per second. I'll, 24, 30 frames per second I'll work, would work in there. So it's, it's a video leak video at the end of the day, right? Um, save. And then we'll see what that looks like at the end. So I hope this video has helped you out. Like I said, you can't keep that original audio in Beat Leap and mix the two. Be good if you could. But this is an alternative way you can do it and quite easily, quite simple, as you saw. So if you have any points or any questions, leave them in the comments below. And likewise, if you'd like me to see me do a specific tutorial, just again, just put in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Take care. Catch you all soon. Some work.